Okay, so this video is my next Superstorm preparations. I got a gas line to my generator, portable generator with a 30 amp cable. I think it's actually rated for 40 amps. To my inlet box. Uh, actually, that's an outlet. If I'm not, whatever, you see it. Um, that's where that goes. This wire, I would probably. You know, zip tie to the house during a real rainy emergency. I'm going to turn on the gas, prime my primer. Gas is on, primed. Didn't prime it enough, apparently. Primed. I got the gas line hookup out here for my grill, but that's a different hose. We let that generator warm up for a minute. We go downstairs where the lights are on already. We go to our panel where we will cut off the main and turn on the generator. I have them zip tied, so you can't do one without the other. So as I turn off the main, it actually went right to the generator. I don't know if anybody noticed that. Nothing even rebooted. That was pretty cool. So, the main is off. The generator is on. That's working. Cable box is still on. Lights are still on. Refrigerator is on. It's like nothing ever happened. The lights dimmed for a second when we cut over. But that's it. You hear the generator running outside. And I think I'll cut it back before. I go turn off the generator. So as we go back, you would have the main would turn on, the generator would turn off. See right now the main is off. If you saw everything blink, the main is back on, the generator is off. And I keep this labeled even though I have that thing on there. I just keep that labeled so that no one ever messes with it. And that time the cable box rebooted. So that's it. That is my disaster uh, preparedness for the next superstorm. Generator runs out. Put it to the off position. Take out our twist lock. And we're done. Pretty cool. Makes me happy. This is our outlet box. Wow. Of course I cut my knuckle. That's it.